Welcome back to Anderson Acres. I am outside today at the picnic table because somebody asked me a question and I realized I didn't answer it. I'm talking about gardening today and someone asked me if I sell my seeds or if I sell my plants and the answer is yes. Okay, so I just want to talk about if you want to actually sell your starter seedlings, there are some things that you should do. Okay, the first thing is you need some seedlings. Now, this is cantaloupe. And I have about, oh, I don't even know how many. I think I have about 12 bags and a lot of these seeds sprouted. So you're going to want to sprout your seeds. I use the paper towel almost exclusively. Gently separate it. Okay, gently, gently. And lay that out. Now you're going to need some pots. I use these little pots. Okay, these are the pots I use. They're nice little pots, they're easy to use little pots, and they're kind of perfect. Okay, they come with, ugh, if I can, there we go, they come with little tops. Okay, they come with little dome tops. So you pop those on, your, seed, your seedling grows in there, and these are excellent for selling, because you can't just grab one of these and go, hey, here's my seedling, do you want it? Okay, you can't sell that. But you can plant it in there, give it a couple more weeks, and then sell it. So, I will put a link on um, the video description for these little pots. I got them on Amazon. You might be able to get them cheaper at a local garden center. I couldn't. They're actually really expensive at my local garden center. I got 50 of these for like 10 bucks, And uh, 50 of them at my garden center was not 10 bucks. So, I got them much cheaper. Much, much cheaper. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, take our little pot, and we need some soil. It doesn't matter what kind of soil. I'm using a um, seed starting miracle Grow mix. I will put a link to that as well. It's a really good mix. I really like it. And I'll just put a link to it. And you can decide if you want to use that. It doesn't really matter. Try to find something that is for younger seedlings. But... It doesn't have to be this one. Okay, so then you can use a spoon, or you can use your hands, or you can use a trowel or whatever. You might wanna do this outside because no matter how good your intentions are, you're going to make this messy. Okay, so you fill it almost to the top, not quite. Then you figure out what seedling you're using. Where did I put my seedling? That one. Make a little hole. Bury the root so that just your little leaf sticks up. Put the top on. You'll notice I didn't add water yet. Okay, then you keep doing that. I have probably about 200 seedlings. I'm not going to pot them all, and I'm certainly not going to pot them all on camera. I'm going to pot a few of them, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so... I'm trying to get another pot out here because he's already irritating sometimes. Mental note, before you get on camera, separate your pots. All right, so we're just going to do one more. So I have, I have like 12 bags, window bags of seedlings. Okay, open that up. Pick a seedling. Gently remove him from your paper towel. Get him in there. Let the little leaf stick up and put a top on him. Okay, we're not selling these yet. Okay, we're not selling those yet. So put them to the side. I'm going to do a few more and then I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, so now I actually have, I think, 23 plants in this tray, but I have 10 more trays to plant. Don't worry about that. But if you're gonna sell them, you wanna put their little lids on, put them in a tray. You notice I didn't water the two that you saw me plant and I didn't water any of the others. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our watering can or a hose or whatever, and we're gonna put water in the bottom of the tray. Okay, we're not gonna water the plants directly because these are plants for sale. You'll notice when I'm planting seeds for myself, I don't really care that much about watering. I just kinda, you know, what is, what is, I don't care. But I am going to be selling these guys. 
So what I want to do is encourage good deep root root, root, uh, root growth. So what I want to do is put water in the tray. Quite a bit of water. I mean, I want it to be about a thumb width up from the bottom of the plant. And they are already soaking it up, so that's excellent. And you want to just make sure all your plants have water underneath them. Okay, so you can even turn it if your table's at a bit of an angle like mine. So we're just going to turn it around this way. There we go. Nicely done. So we're now going to leave those. So I'm going to do a bit of a series here on selling your plants. This one was just getting them into pots. We're not going to sell them like this yet. Okay, we're not just going to take this and sell them. We are going to make sure all their lids are on. So you're going to go and make sure all your lids are on. You're going to let them sit in that water tray for about 15 minutes so that they can absorb from the bottom. That will get the roots to go down instead of up because we want these to be really nice plants because we're going to be selling them. So we will come back in a couple weeks when, with, with a new video when we are ready to get them ready to sell. In the meantime, I will put up links to how to germinate seeds in a paper towel because it is my favorite method. Then I don't waste pots on seeds that won't necessarily sprout. So I don't want to waste my pots. These ones have already sprouted. Everyone's looking good. Everyone's about the same size. So that's what I want to do. If something didn't sprout, I just want to throw it out. I don't want to waste a pot. So I'll put a link to a video on how to sprout using a paper towel. And I do this by the hundreds just to save myself a little bit of time. It also germinates faster in a paper towel and a plastic bag. I will also put up links to these pots that I found on Amazon at a decent price instead of my garden center that was charging about four times as much. So I'll put a link to that and I will put a link up to the seed mix that I'm using, the potting mix I'm using. I really like this potting mix for uh, seeds I'm going to be selling. I don't use it on my own because I don't really care if my own stuff grows. If it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow. I don't care. Half the time the rabbits eat it. So it doesn't matter. But for stuff I'm selling, I do definitely want to make sure that I have all these guys in nice little pots and I want to make sure I'm using a good seed starting mix. So that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Tune in once in a while, probably not for two weeks, uh, for the next video in how to get your seeds ready for sale. Remember, do invest in some decent pots. We'll see you tomorrow.